Hi folks, welcome to solving systems of equations using the substitution method. Just like in a basketball or a soccer game when a player is substituted for another player, they are usually substituted because they are of equal value on the playing field or the basketball court, but are slightly different. Here we have a system of equations because we have two equations and in order to solve a system of equations we're looking for the x, y intersection point where the two lines when you graph them intersect except instead of solving this by graphing whoops, we're going to use the method called substitution. If you notice in the first equation this is in standard form and in the second equation, this is in slope-intercept form, where everything is equal to y. Well, here, if y is equal to all of this, 2x plus 3, then I can replace this y with 2x plus 3. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to have 3x plus 5. Instead of y, we're going to plug in 2x plus 3 is equal to 41. Now we have one equation with only one type of variable, 2x's. We're going to use the distributive property first to start to simplify this. This becomes 3x plus 10x. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15 is equal to 41. Combine like terms. 3x plus 10x is 13x plus 15 is equal to 41. Subtract 15 to solve for x. 13x is equal to 26. Divide by 13. x is equal to 2. Now I know it feels like we've done a lot of work and you want to be finished, but remember I said you need an x and a y value to find the intersection point. So far we just have an x value. To find the y value, you're going to take the second equation, y is equal to 2x plus 3, replace, or again substitute, the x value for the x value that you just found. So you're going to say y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 3, or y is equal to 4 plus 3, or 7. So now we have an x value and a y value. We have an intersection point of 2, 7. Always want to check your work, so we'll do a quick check by plugging in 2 and 7 into our original, the first equation. So is 3 times 2, the x value, plus 5 times 7, the y value, equal to 41? That's the question. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 7 is 35. Definitely 41, so that one works. Let's look at another example. Here again we have an equation in standard form, an equation in slope-intercept form where the y value is by itself and it's equal to this, so we can replace this y value with the expression 4x plus 2. So 4x minus 3 times 4x plus 2 is equal to negative 14. Distributive property. 4x minus 12x minus 6 is equal to negative 14. 4x minus 12x is negative 8x. Still have minus 6 equal to negative 14. Add 6. Negative 8x is equal to negative 8. Divide by negative 8 x is equal to 1. Again, we're only halfway finished. We need to find 
both the x and the y intersection point. So we're going to take the second equation, y equals 4x plus 2, replace the x with 1. So it's going to be 4 times 1 plus 2, or y is equal to 4 plus 2 y is equal to 6. So it looks like our intersection point is 1, 6. Again, a quick check. We do 4 times 1 minus 3 times 6. Is that equal to negative 14? 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. That's definitely negative 14, so we're all set there. Look at the third example. Again, one equation in standard form, one equation in y equals form. Replace the y with what y is equal to. So you're going to have 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 5. I've replaced the y with what y is equal to. Equal to 8. Distributive property. 3x plus 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. It's equal to 8. 3x plus 6x is, whoops, 9x minus 10 is equal to 8. If we add 10, 9x is equal to 18. Divide by 9. x equals 2. We have to find an x and a y value, so we're going to come back to our y equals equation. y equals 3x minus 5. Replace the x with what x now equals, which is 2. We're going to do 3 times 2 minus 5. y equals 6 minus 5, or y equals 1, so we have an intersection point at 2, 1 going to do a quick check here. That spells check. 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1 is equal to 8. That's 6 plus 2. That's definitely 8. Last example like this. If we have y equals 5x minus 4, we can replace or substitute this y with what y is equal to. So we're going to have 4x minus 3, insert the 5x minus 4, equal to negative 21. Distributive property, 4x, careful with the negative, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Oops, that should be an x in there. Equal to negative 21. 4x minus 15x, negative 11x. Plus 12 is equal to negative 21. We need minus 12. Negative 11x is equal to negative 33. Divide by negative 11, x is equal to 3. Take that x value, plug it into the 5x minus 4 equation. y is going to be equal to then 5 times 3 minus 4, or y equals 15 minus 4, y equals 11. Looks like we have an intersection at 3 and 11, x and y. To do a check, 4 times 3 minus 3 times 11, is that equal to negative 21? 12 minus 33, negative 21. One more example that looks a little differently because it's a word problem. 
A bus contains monkeys and goats. There are 37 animals and 132 feet. That's animal feet. How many of each animal are on the bus? Well, how many feet do monkeys have? Looks like two. So if we use two feet for every monkey, plus how many feet do goats have? One, two, three, four. Four feet for every goat, we have 132 animal feet. And in general, we just have monkeys and goats, and there's a total of 37 animals. Well, in order to use the substitution method, we need to have either the M or the G be by itself, so we can do some substituting in. The easiest thing is to subtract G from this second equation, so M, monkeys, is 37 subtract G. Well, since M is equal to this, we can replace the M in our first equation with what M is equal to. So we can do 2 times 37 minus G, what M is equal to, plus 4G, 132. Distributive property, 2 times 37 is 74 minus 2g plus 4g equals 132. Let's see, negative 2g plus 4g is just 2g. 74 plus 2g equals 132. If you subtract 74, 2g is equal to 58. Divide by 2, g is equal to 29. Again, we need the g and the m. If g is 29, take this equation over here. m is equal to 37 minus 29. That's our G, so M is equal to 8. That means when we had monkeys and goats, we have 8 monkeys and 29 goats. I don't know, I think I wish I had more monkeys than goats. Still need to do a quick check. Looks like we're going to have 2 times 8, is that plus 4 times 29 equal to 132? That's 16 plus 4 times 29 is 116. That is definitely 132. Thanks for listening. I hope this helped explain the substitution method.